Okay, my name is Miracle. This is a colingual class. This class is going to be about art. What is going on? Mm -mm. Okay, this is an art class and apparently another Van Gogh painting has been discovered. Okay, before we get into the class, let me say that um, if you are interested in these classes, if you're looking at this, especially on YouTube, please, 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 and then please, please again, do not send me messages on Google or YouTube or Facebook. All you have to do is go to the company website, colingo.com, C-O-L-I-N-G-O, colingo.com. Go to Colingo, and uh, you can learn everything that you need to learn about joining, about participating, about sitting in the classes. Please don't write me. I cannot respond to these messages. Okay? So, colingo.com, C-O-L-I-N-G-O.com. Now, this class is about a Van Gogh painting that was found. Let's look at this. Okay, I'm going to put the link. Mm, there it is. I'm going to put the link in the chat box. There we go. Okay. New, they have new in parentheses because, of course, it is not a brand new painting because Van Gogh passed away hundreds of years ago or over a hundred years ago. Um, so it is not a painting that is new in actuality, but it is new in that um, we haven't seen it, we haven't studied it, we don't know very much about it. So, a new Van Gogh painting found. So, that's what was in the attic. For the first time in 40 years, Amsterdam's Van Gogh Museum unveiled a new painting by the master, which will be on exhibit starting on September 24th, titled Sunset at Montmajour. The work is believed to have been painted in... Als, I don't know how to pronounce that, in 1888 and completely unknown to literature. The painting has been in the private collection of a family after being shuttered in a Norwegian attic for years and the museum would not release any more information due to privacy concerns. But it was brought to the museum two years ago for authentication and researchers have been examining it ever since. It first entered the museum in 1991, but no one had recognized it as Van Gogh's work then. Whoops. So let us take a look at this. Let me get the image for you guys. Shudder. <laughs> hey, Mark. Hi. You know, I'm completely accustomed to doing these classes on my own now. It's like I, I just am by myself until we get to pronunciation, and then it's like, oh, okay. Okay, so there's a new Van Gogh painting found, okay? I, th I thought the article was interesting. But I've never been a Van Gogh fan. I just don't understand his art. I'm trying to get a really good image. I just don't get his art. Here I am. Hi. I'm trying to open my screen. Okay. New Van Gogh. Van Gogh. 
Now we say Van Gogh. <laughs> oh. <in> <laughs> If you say Van Gogh here, people will go, oh my. How do you guys say? Van Gogh. Van Gogh. Yes. We sound a little snobbish. Yeah. <laughs> Van Gogh. <laughs> Van Gogh, okay. New Van Gogh painting town. Cool. If you see my screen, you see the painting. I don't like Van Gogh. I keep trying. I've revisited his, his artwork many times over the years because I want to be a part of that cool club that understands Van Gogh and that, <laughs> you know, I want to be a part of the club and I want to have that snobbish look. I want to have that look where I'm like in deep thought and I'm like, yes, the textures, the colors, I can almost smell it. I want to be into Van Gogh like that, but I can't be. I don't like Van Gogh. I like. I don't get it. I keep trying. Do you understand his art? Yeah, I would. I would. I wouldn't say that I completely understand his art, you know. But I like his paintings. Really? And, uh, I'd have to figure out why, but I do definitely. Are so colorful, I like the colors and like um, two especially. It is. I don't know how to say it in English. I have to 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 look for. The proper words, but anyway, you can do that later. But I definitely, I like I have seen some paintings here yeah. in Brazil. Yes. Yes. Mark, okay, look at this, please. What? Okay, you you talk about the colors here. I'm going to share my screen. I hope nobody writes me anything. If you see anything pop up on my screen that you shouldn't, just pretend like you don't see it. <laughs> Look at this. What colors? What I mean, to me the colors are very boring. It's bland. I feel like it's something a third grader would do. Ah, okay, these one. This but is this the new is one. No, 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 no. This is not the new one. I, I already showed the new one. Let me go back. Let me show one. This is the new one. Let's see if we can. And Mark, this is breaking news because they just started posting these six days ago. Wow. Yeah, so this is breaking news. Um, breaking news means it's something that they just, it's just yeah. happened. They've been studying the painting for two years. Here. They've been studying the painting for two years. They wanted to make sure They wanted to make sure. Look at that. What is that? It's a mess. That is beautiful. What What about it? Please tell me. Use your English words and convince me that this is beautiful. No. I'll do that. I can do that. I don't have words enough or enough words. Why is it beautiful? It looks like a big blur to me. Just a bunch of mess. Uh, take a look at the sky. You know. You mean it looks like it looks like it was finger painted, Mark? Seriously, mm. it looks like somebody did this to the sky. They just went and did like that and made the sky. It looks this, like they put you know, paint on their yeah, finger. That change, that changeable blue colors. The sky is not only in a kind of blue. You have different kinds of blue color. Um, you know, it's very small, that picture, so that I can see. It's hard to find the big ones. They don't have big ones of this for some reason. Yeah, the paintings, the pictures aren't big. It's called Sunset of, uh, what's it called? Sunset of Mont Majeur. Mont Majeur, something like that. I tried to find a bigger one, but they're all pretty small. You see, they're all itty bitty. This one is a little bigger, but it's bigger only because of the people in it. Yeah. Yeah, there's not much to see. Honestly, there's just not much there. I'm just not impressed. <laughs> I'm not impressed with Van Gogh. Uh, yeah, you're not. 
But I keep trying. <laughs> That's the thing is I keep trying. Look, you, you have to try harder so that, I... you, can <laughs> so that you can participate to that. Cool I, yeah. Mark, look at that. That's a mess. No, no. Sounds, sounds like you're typing, so we need a mic. Sounds like I'm what? No, I got a message. Sounds like you're typing, so we muted your mic, but I'm not typing. Oh, it does that a lot. It does that a lot. Okay, I mean, so when I look down at the bottom of the screen, all I see is, or the bottom of the painting, all I see is a lot of greenery. And I know that some are trees and some are flowers, but I feel like I have to look too hard to differentiate. I feel like I have to look too hard to understand what is a tree and what is a... It's messy to me. Maybe he did that on purpose, you know, because the green means hope. And so he was, no, he was, he was very depressed. Oh, that's true. He was horribly depressed. And so... Well, here, let's look at this one. So we know that we found a new one. But let's look at an old one that is a little bit bigger, that is still obviously his style. And let's talk about it, since we can really see this image. We can really see this one. Now this is interesting to me because you can see that when you look at it close up, you can see the brush strokes and I think that's beautiful close up. I think that's yeah. gorgeous. That's beautiful to me, close up. You can see all the detail. Yeah. The brush strokes, do you know what we mean by brush stroke? <coughs> no. <coughs> I'm sorry. Brush stroke. You know your paintbrush? Your paintbrush yeah. when you move it? Yeah. Like that. We call that a brush stroke. Okay. So when you look at this, you can see all of the many, many, many brush strokes. Like this section here. You can see it. Now, when I look at that, I think, wow, he's a master. That's amazing. That's beautiful. Yeah. Yeah, but when you zoom out like that, it just looks like a mess. <laughs> okay, your turn. Tell me what you see. No. No, even... This image uh, in Digger is hard for me to see. Do you have the link or something? Oh, I'm sorry. Yes, here. You know what, Mark? It's so funny. I try to please everybody. So some people are like, teacher, can you show us your screen? So, okay, I start showing the screen. And then when I show the screen, people are like, no, <laughs> I want the link myself. Okay, so I'll give them the link, and then they're like, no, I just want to see it on your screen. Everybody wants something different. Okay, let me see. Van Gogh. So try to use your words and tell us what you're seeing. You, when you look at it close up, it's absolutely incredible. Like I get, I get it. I get the genius when I see it close up. I've never seen the brush strokes close up before. This is incredible. Incredible. I get it until I zoom out. Hmm. 
Mark, you're not using your words. I'm sorry, just just open to me. Oh, done. Oh, there are so many windows open. Okay, now I'm seeing. Show us your screen, Mark. Let's see what you're working on. <laughs> okay, now I'm seeing. <laughs> now, now I'm seeing. You know, again, a lot of green around. On the paint, in the painting. Um, you know, it, it's um, it's. Uh, I have to look for the word. It's uh, uh, hold on. It's a uh, hermit or hermit. Or a hermit? You mean like a crab? A hermit crab? A hermit like that, a right and right down for you. Hermit. Okay, let me see. Hermit. Hermit. Landscape. What does that mean? Because it's kind of sad to have some kind of stones mm. or rocks around and um, Give me another word for hermit, though. Do you uh, mean isolated, like lonely? Yeah. That oh, okay. I understand. Lonely. Lonely. Yeah. Oh. Uh, and you see no flowers, apparently no flowers. Uh, just that big tree yeah. at, the, at the top. Uh huh. And, and uh, do you see? Can you say that there are stones around? You can say stones or rocks. Probably rocks. Okay. Those rocks, I think. Well, you know, you know what? Stone is l usually larger. You could probably say stone, Mark. Okay. So the stones, the stones themselves. Uh, to me, it seems uh, it reminds me, reminds me that a lonely feeling, you know, um, a feeling of loneliness. Hmm. Uh, what else? Uh, take a look at the sky. The sky is not blue. It is, I don't know, there are many colors. Uh, we say gray skies when the sky doesn't have a gray sky. color. Yeah, and, and I think you are, I think you're picking up on some very important things because when we talk about gray skies, it does mean sad. Gray skies do mean sad. Yeah, you know, uh, that reinforce uh, that feeling of loneliness, you know, that gray sky, those those rocks or stones, no flowers, just that big tree. Mm -hmm. That definitely, I need a word I'm looking for here. That is that is. Uh, that is distinguished um, distinguish what preposition I use to say that I think I need to hear the full sentence so I can know what I mean, you're saying. I mean that a big tree distinguished is distinguished uh, from from the rocks from the uh, you could say distinguished from, but I think set apart from would be more natural. Set I understand. Apart. Yeah, set apart. Um, let me think if there's something else. I understand what you mean by distinguished. Uh, but set apart sounds more natural. You could say... Um, 
you could say that the loneliness of the tree is more pronounced or is it's very pronounced the loneliness the loneliness yeah the loneliness the loneliness of the tree the isolation very pronounced The loneliness of the tree, the isolation of the tree is very pronounced. Okay. And I'm. Um, uh, Jesus. Let me see. Uh, I'm taking a look. I'm looking. Close. Yeah. And you know what? It's amazing when you look. How can I say I look close up? You mean when you zoom into the picture? Yeah. Mm -hmm. When I, I look at it? when I look at a close up of the of the image. At at close up. When I look at a, a I'll type it. When I when I look at a close up at a close up of the image, when I zoom in zoom in zoom into the image, okay. So when I zoom in into the image, that is really awesome because because you can see a lot of colors mm -hmm. and that is obvious that he he knew what he was doing because it's so precise mm -hmm. those how do I say traces I don't know if it's brush strokes okay could you write down please yes yeah I think I put it in there for you no. Oh, I'm sorry. Brush strokes. There you go. Brush strokes. Uh -huh. So those uh, brush strokes, brush strokes. Uh -huh. Oh, you know what's going to happen there? Brush mm -hmm. strokes. It becomes this. Brush strokes. It becomes this. Brush strokes. Yeah. Brush strokes. Yes, we don't say brush strokes. Yeah. Brush strokes. Oh, yeah, it's too hard to blend these sounds. Brush strokes. Mm -hmm. Those brush strokes uh, were very precise. Mm -hmm. You can see he definitely was concerned to not mix to hmm. the colors. That's true, Mark. To not blend. Yeah. To not yeah. Blend. He was careful to not blend the colors. You're yeah, absolutely he, right. <gasps> he was a master, wasn't he? Yeah. Oh my God, this is so funny. I'm like 38 <laughs> years old and I'm finally starting to understand Van Gogh. <laughs> oh my God. You're right. You can see it. And then there are some places where he did blend, but it looks deliberate. Yeah. It doesn't look like an accident. You're right. The colors are very clear. And when you zoom in on the rocks, you see <gasps> they are oh. very colorful, actually. Yeah. You know? That's beautiful. Yeah. And I think if you take a look at the left... Uh, near the sky, 
it's kind of flowers there. The very uh, let me see. I'm gonna put this on my desktop. Very clumsy or bumpkin. Uh, I think clumsy. Hold on. Let me see. I need to save this. I'm going to put this on my desktop. Um, I don't understand the word that you're trying to use. Not clumsy. Okay. Hold on. Uh, loud. You know that word, loud. Very loud. Loud. Bold. Are you trying to say bold? I wrote down loud. Yes, but l no, I don't know that word. Okay. It's loud. Clumsy. I mean, um, not painted. very detailed. Yeah, but on purpose, I think he did that, you know. Ah. Oh. flowers because... Oh, I see. If he did that perfectly, you know, it, 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 it will part of portraits. Uh, portraits, perhaps. Huh. Mark, I didn't know you were an expert in art. This is interesting. It will it will portrait a feeling of hap of happiness and definitely oh. it doesn't suit to this landscape to this image. Landscape is an excellent word. Um, not portrait, portray. Portray. Okay. Portrait is an image. Is portray is your verb. I, I understand exactly what you're saying and I agree and I think that that is very smart. So the flowers over here are not, the flowers here are not as detailed and what you're saying is it is yeah. as if he painted them very clumsily but yeah. intentionally. Intentionally. That's very good Mark. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, if you weren't paying attention, you could say, oh, he became lazy. But he, yeah. he's not lazy. Definitely not, because if you pay attention to the rocks, the textures and the colors yeah. on, the, on, on the rocks or even them. That tree is also beautiful. Because yeah. if you zoom in, you can see the colors. The colors are... Let's go to try another word. Um, they are blended in a very careful way. Mm -hmm. um, no, you know what? Overlap. Overlap. They overlap in a very specific manner. Overlap. It's like one color on top of another, but they're not blending. They they yeah. are on top of each other. Yeah. You're right. Mark, you are really good at this. I never thought I would have an appreciation for Van Gogh. <laughs> I just I gave up. I was just like I would just always be that dumb person who's like, I don't get it. <laughs> <laughs> This is amazing. Oh. Here I can go on. I look to you. And you know what? If you pick, again, if you zoom in, you'll see that some brush strokes were, it's kind of, it was, 
angry or um, take a look, for example, on the right, uh, there is a part that is blue uh, near the sky. If you zoom in, you see that it's kind of he. Oh, let me do that word again. Brush, brush strokes is can I use it as a verb? No. No, as a noun. Um. Yeah, only as a noun. I'm trying to think of something else that you could use in its place. I, I think we would say he painted. Angrily or yeah, furiously. Oh, you could say that he applied the brush strokes furiously. It furiously. seems. It seems that he applied the brush strokes. I'll type it for you. You know, and I, I wonder what's going on in his head when he was doing that. Mm. That work. You know, if we could handle what's in his head. Yeah, but I, you know, when I, that is really, that's why I, I love paintings because you have to, to try to understand not only the image you see, but you have to try to contextualize hmm. with the painter, you know, the way he used to live his life what was happening at that moment that he paint that when you definitely when you can you can have those information that uh, information that information mm -hmm. um, because everyone feels art and paintings in a very specific way that's why when I go to museums, I can stay for hours and hours in front of a painting. <laughs> and just because I think it's awesome. I think it's amazing. Honestly, Mark, I have never considered the art of the brushstroke. I know that we talk about brushstrokes, but I never considered the mood, the personality, the feeling, the emotion but as I look at this section here, you can see that. I mean, really, you can, you can, you can see it. You and you do kind of wonder what was he thinking, what was he feeling. Yeah. That's incredible. I actually have an appreciation for Van Gogh now. Yeah. Incredible. And you know, and, and you know what? If you pay attention to, to this guy. Uh, near near the tree, you see a part in blue. Yes. You know, he might have a glimpse of happiness or something that he tell. So the sky become blue. But you know what? I think he was so depressed that it was just a few moments of happiness or something. Mm -hmm. that definitely, he returned to the gray. Mm hmm. A lot of things you can pay attention to. Yeah, you're right. Oh, I, I, I saved that image. Yes. Yeah. Rocks. This is incredible, Mark. You're really good at this. Here, let's do another one of his. Let's do another one. Okay, Van Gogh. If you see one that you would like to look at, just let me know. But I'm just going to do. Ah, I love that that portrait of uh, that image of his room. I love oh, that really? one. Oh, really? I love that one. Okay. Can you send the link? Oh, sure. We can't zoom in so much to see the brush strokes on this one. Yeah, you're right. And you know what? Um, you can see 
how to say that word, okay, symmetry, a harmony or symmetry of colors. So, hmm. And this one, you have this kind of, it's not a yellow, but something like that. And you see it on the chairs. The and colors the, of the chairs? The colors of the chairs, the color of the bed. And even when you take a look at a... The borders uh, around the paintings? Yes, definitely. You see the same. And uh, what else? Again, blue. You know, blue sometimes... Um, uh, as a meaning of desperation. Right. I was going to mention that when you, you were talking about the tree, because blue for us never represents hope. Blue yeah. for us is always sadness. Yeah. What else? Uh, you know, take a look at the window. It's kind of green. Uh-huh. Because the window... You know, when you open the window, you can see what is outside. It means maybe an exit or something. It means freedom. Hmm. That's why maybe that that green that was on purpose because it means you can escape this world. That's interesting. Uh, So I think you are finding something of a pattern. You're seeing hope and hopelessness in his paintings. You are touching on both of those themes. Yeah, as I told you before, I think he was, I know everybody knows he was very depressed. But, right. But he was an artist, you know, and uh, I think he was, he had some moments when he was happy at least about his work or something, the way he was able to create mm -hmm. the, the things uh, things he was able to create and maybe that's why we see uh, that that a glimpse of happiness in, the wor in his work. You can also see he lives in a very poor room, he used to live uh, Let me uh, give you another word. Yeah, please. Themes. Themes. Dilapidated. Dilapidated. Means poor, run down, yeah. very used, worn, old. Okay. Did I spell it right? <laughs> Yeah, I think I did. Studying all of these languages makes me spell my own language wrong. I don't know why. And you see probably himself. Uh-huh. That's his portrait. picture. Portrait. Portrait. Mm -hmm. Other person, I don't know who he is. Mm -hmm. um, and also... Isn't it interesting that the portraits on the wall are crooked? All the other things that are on the wall are straight. The mirror, the other painting, the the jacket. Yeah. But those things that are hanging on the wall next to the bed, it is a reflection of him and maybe another family member. Yeah. Two paintings on two pictures underneath and they are crooked. Nothing else on the wall is crooked. Yeah, you're right. Uh, okay. Askew is another word for crooked. So we could say nothing else is crooked or askew. Write down, please. Crooked. Yes, I put it in. Crooked. It doesn't look like it, but that's it. It looks like crooked but it's crooked. 
You see it in chat? Not yet. It's there. Yeah. Well, you know what? We had some problems in the last two classes ago. Okay, I think that's it for this one. There is nothing. We have, a, you know, I to have a kind of rad and bad. That is I very saw unusual. that. It's very unusual, you know. Contrast a lot with the the colors of all of the colors. Mm hmm. I have an idea. I think it's because he doesn't like to sleep. I think he has nightmares. Yeah, probably. Ready also means desperate. Um, that is very interesting. That color of I think it's a towel or something near the table. Mm hmm. That's very different from. No, no, actually the. It's it's the same I think of the the portrait. Mm hmm. Yeah. And. Uh, what does it say? We can't tell what those words are underneath the yeah. pictures. Come on. Okay. Hmm. Want to try another one? Yeah. Your turn. Well, I definitely don't want to do the one where he cut his own ear off. That's just going to make me cry now that I'm starting to understand him. <laughs> oh my god, I'm trying to find one that's not sad. No. Jeez, he's going to just make me cry. Good grief. There's sadness here. Next. I have this one, of course. Crying. Do you? Yeah. Wait. How many paintings did he paint? Just so many. Okay, now that's at Van Gogh Tree. Van Gogh Cafe? Let's see. Okay, that doesn't look too sad. I like to. Oh, you have to try. I like, to. Oh, like this one? An amazing one. The potato eaters. <laughs> oh, I think I know that one. I remember that from fifth grade. I remember that. It is okay. Awesome. Okay. Oh, but that's going to be sad. But at least it's only 15 minutes of sad. <laughs> You don't understand. I will be in here crying. You know I will. Lord Jesus, they are eating potatoes. Send the link, please. Oh. I look to you. I look to you. Oh. I've done a second. I will. Wait. Ah, the that boom. That is the personal of that movie. Okay. Um. They have very peculiar, peculiar facial features. They look almost like animals. The two. Yeah. That's very interesting. I wonder if he was trying to paint a different culture, or if he was trying to show how li hard life had been for them, or something. Let me see. Yeah, it's very different because you can. If you do, if you're not aware about his work, you say, oh, I don't know, I don't know who who painted. Uh huh. Because it's not look like Van Gogh. Uh huh. It's true. 
So why why do you like this one? I like just just because of that because it, it doesn't look like it's a Van Gogh work, and uh, I definitely <laughs> I got really impressed about the face of the of the people, you know. Um, um, instead of I got impressed, I was impressed with. I was or, impressed with. Or you could say I've always been impressed by. Okay. Always been impressed by. Mm -hmm. That sounds really natural. I'll type it for you. Because he's usually associated with impressionist movement but definitely this is not an impressionist painter. Uh, impressionist. I don't know In enough about art history. Tell me what that is. I've heard it of course but I could not define it for you. Because w one of the, uh, the characteristics of the, that movement is just the colors at the Many colors, many. Uh, let me go back to that word again. That is. Uh -oh. Brush strokes. Um, in a glimpsey. No. Uh, oh, what's the word? Uh, clumsy, you follow? You said clumsy. Well, Mm. Um, I want to say like vague, not very detailed. I can't think of another yeah. word. Yeah. Sort of vague way of painting. And this one, you can definitely you can see the people's faces. You know, you mm -hmm. can see the eyes. You can see nose and so on. Although that one on right side. It looks like a nanny or something. Yeah, the one on the yeah. left too. Yeah, you're right. I wonder why I, he did that. You know, I don't think this painter was was celebrated um, at a time. It's None of his off. paintings were. People thought he was crazy. None of them were celebrated. Yeah, I mean, even later, you know, when the, because it's so different from his work, his previous work. Oh, I see. Then I don't, then I think people. Uh, it took a lot of time so that it was understood as a great work. Hmm. And actually, there are uh, there are three versions of this paint this painting. Ah. My God. There you go. Say? No, no, you didn't say anything. I'm just okay. giving you two different options. Okay. Okay. It, it took a little a lot of time for people to understand his true genius. Wow. Cool. It took, 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 it took a lot of time for this piece to be appreciated as a great work of art. Yeah, much better. You said, my God, what, what did I say? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, honestly, if you had asked me who did this, I would not have said Van Gogh. Yeah. When you said it, I I was like, oh yeah, I remember that. But if you had shown me the the painting and said who did it, I would not have said Van Gogh. You're right. It is very unlike his other pieces. Yeah. There's a desperation in all of his paintings. I don't think yeah. I could have any of his paintings in my house. I would be depressed. No, you probably would. You'll send it, you become rich immediately. 
<laughs> oh, and I would spend all of that money getting help for my emotions. I mean, he's just yeah. very depressing. <laughs> you know, uh, buying new shoes or something, you're thinking about, oh my God, how <laughs> depressing he was. <laughs> it's oh, sad. Uh, I'll get another one, please. <laughs> another pair of shoes. <laughs> Did you yeah. notice how the hands on that lady, uh, the, the, the first lady on the left, her hands look like skeletons, don't they? Yeah. And so do the guys. Right. You're right. So it looks like even though they're eating, they're dying. Yeah. God, he's depressing. It definitely portrays, can I say that? Uh, portrays. Portrays. Mm -hmm. uh, a hard life. I mean, those people have a hard life. They are poor people. Yeah. Poor guy. When um, I remember in fifth grade, we learned about Van Gogh. And, you know, I was like, who was the crazy man who cut his ear off? Who would do that? But it just makes you realize he was really tortured because if you are hearing things, yeah, then it just seems like, oh, just cut your ear off so you don't have to hear things anymore. But a rational person would not think yeah. that way. But you know what? Miracle, sadness, loneliness, desperate mm -hmm. are always... Desperation. Desperation are always, uh, I think, favorite food for art. I mean... Amazing work of art has been made about uh, talking about or trying to portray these emotions, these kind of feelings, you know. Yeah. When you are happy, you are too much happy. You know, you're too happy. You are too happy. You definitely you are silly and boring, smiling all, smiling all the time. That's true. You know. That's true. That's why that's why I love drama. <laughs> I mean, movies and uh, one of my favorite books ever is. Um, that's why I asked Vladimir about Dostoevsky because <laughs> I love the movies Crime and oh, how do I say that in English? God. I tried to read Dostoevsky. In English, but definitely it's, it was too hard. I can try now. Brothers Karamazov, okay, but I'm from crime. I'm not familiar. Uh, crime and Punishment. Oh, uh, I've is, never attempted that read. Wow, that is awesome. You know, you know it. I just get, um, I, I used to have a voracious appetite for books. I used to read books. I read a book a day from the time I was in the third grade until I got to high school because I had too much homework. So I read a book a day. <laughs> Literally, I would read in between classes. I would read in classes. I read on the bus. I read when I got home. I was going to finish that book so I could go back to school the next day and get a new one. But um, my problem is, is I become a part of the story and it, it messes with my mood. Yeah. When I read, when I met Red of Mice and Men, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, I would walk past the book and just start crying. It was like I'd see the book. Here's the book on the table. The book is like this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what I like, you know. Oh. I, li I like uh, things that make me kind of oh. celebrate. The, the loneliness, the sadness, and so on. I think it's for me. It's very good because I have think fun. that's very have fun. fun. No, I said have fun. I'm done with that. I don't celebrate okay. that anymore because I just cry. I'll just no, be crying no, all the time. Because you know, it's because because it has a an effect uh, on me. Uh huh. Right? On me. I got, you know, I, I got sad, okay. Mm -hmm. But that's the meaning of life, you know. The other day, I'm very good and cheerful. But I know, I, I think 
I know it sounds kind of strange saying that, but that's why I like sad songs, I like sad books, I like sad paintings, I like because I think it's really true, you know, when you are so happy, you know, okay, I can trust in you so much. You need to cry so that I can believe that in you. <laughs> that is true. My brother will be the first person to say, why is she so fake? When You know, when you see somebody who's smiling and happy all the time, you go, something is wrong. Yeah. Hi, Liliana. Bye, Liliana. Oh, bye, Liliana. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, that's She's so probably bye. coming in for the next class. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. okay. So it's my last class of the day. I'll see you there. Yeah.